Hey guys, I wanted to do this video today for anybody that has been looking into starting sublimation. If you've been researching and you want to know how easy it is to convert an Epson printer to sublimation, or if you want to know how hard it is. Now, I'm not a pro. I have only just been doing sublimation since November. I started out with an Epson printer that I got from Office Depot about a year ago. It was on sale for $149. It's the Epson 76110. I don't think they make that model anymore, but that's what I started with. And here recently, the printer has been giving me quite a few problems. So I found out that Epson had a deal on their website for refurbished printer so i got the epson 77110 for 106 plus tax and i had to buy new ink and new cartridges for that printer because i don't want to use the one out of my old printer which they use the same cartridges so if you want to do that that's fine but i wanted to get new ones so i can do a whole new setup because once i get my new one going i'm going to go back to the 7610 and i'm going to work on that one a little bit it's got a little bit of a clause in the print heads so it needs a little work so i wanted to go ahead and set it up so i wanted to record this so anybody interested in it you will know too now i purchased this sublimation ink from a website called inks pro today the first time that i ordered my sublimation ink i got it from a website it's highly known with sublimation but the inks are a little bit expensive and since i bought those for the first go around i kind of wanted to see what some of the cheaper inks are like now, I do know a lot of people that use the cheap inks and they work just as fine as the expensive ink. So, I don't want you to feel like when you're first starting out with sublimation that you're going to have to um, get the most expensive ink and that's the only kind that'll work. That's not true. There's also some ink on Amazon. I have not used it. It's called Printer's Jack, but I do know there are a lot of people that are using that ink it's like 25 bucks on Amazon and it's working well for a lot of people. When it's time for me to refill ink, I may try that out just to see if I like that better. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing gloves as I'm taking off the little silver tabs off the ink because it's real messy. And I've got some plastic down because I don't want to ruin my desk. So when you get to where you're filling up your cartridges, make sure you have something down so you don't spill the ink. And if it does spill, you know, you'll have some plastic or some paper down to get that up with because you don't want it to stain anything, especially, you know, if you've got carpet, you don't want the ink in the carpet. Alrighty, so I've got all the bottles of ink open so now I'm gonna start filling the cartridges okay now before you fill the cartridges if you can see there is two little plugs this one in the middle it's a little hard to come out so I had to use some scissors to kind of get it out but I wanted to leave it in so you can see what I'm talking about this one comes off so go ahead and take those little white things off. And in this hole right here, this is where your ink is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling each cartridge out. When I'm done putting all the ink in each one, this little plug right here is going to come out of this one and it's going to sit in this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of them filled up. Okay, you get some syringes with the ink. And there's some little plugs that you put on there. So go ahead and put the little tip on there. And I'm going to fill my yellow up first. I'm going to try to move the camera down so you can see a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to do that. It's, it'd be much easier if you had a long needle 
to go down in the bottle but this is what came with it so this is what I'm going to use And I'm just going to put this one aside and I'm going to go ahead and stick that down in there and I'm going to fill the cart. I think you want to make sure that you get it, you know, kind of full above the line. I think I may need to put just a little bit more in it up here. Not very much more, but just a little bit. Alright, got that one done. I want to let you know, when you're filling up your cards, if you can get the long syringe to go, the long needle, I'm sorry, to go on the tip of the syringe, that would be much better because when you go to stick that back in the bottle, it's really hard to get that tip down. And I realize I pulled up quite a bit of air bubbles and you don't want any air bubbles to be in your ink. And I'm looking for my yellow plug. Okay. Still in the hole. Okay, I'm taking it out. And then I'm going to pop it over here. And there it is. So I'm going to go on and do all of the other ones. So I'm going to save the black for last because it's going to take quite a bit of ink for that one. So I'm going to do that last. I'm going to go ahead and that out and be sure when you're doing your ink that you're using a different syringe and you're not mixing the colors Don't make that mistake that I just made. Just got it on my desk. Good thing it wipes up really good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put that lid on there. That was already popped out. We're going to fill it. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more ink in that one. Get these air bubbles out. plug in there
how you fill the carts and I'm going to go ahead and get the printer set up so that we can get this process going. Thank you. 